uh, institute a 1.5% excise tax on incomes of over $200,000 in, in Olympia. Obviously, a lot of that is to be worked out, and I'm not a tax person or an attorney, so I'm not going to delve into the weeds because I don't know how to delve into the weeds on that. But, uh, you know, and we need to remember, too, it says Olympia. There's a fairly large chunk of the North Thurston School District that is in the city of Olympia. So there would be North Thurston graduates who would be eligible, as well as Olympia graduates, as well as people who get their, students who get their GED. So it's a large group, and we're trying to open up the doors to higher education. We hear the needs for STEM and for teachers and for other people, and we want Olympia to be a leader in taking that next step to increase access to post-secondary education. And this is one way to do it. Would I like to see it done statewide? Absolutely. I don't think it comes as a surprise to any of you that I've been a long time supporter of tax reform and of the uh, of instituting major tax reform that would include an income tax so that we can meet the needs of not only Olympia but students across the the state and other needs. Well, you know, we can talk forever about McCleary too, which is obviously the 800 pound gorilla in the room. But we can't ignore, we should not ignore the needs of post-secondary education. So Opportunity for Olympia has developed this, is, this initiative which, by the way, got the signatures of more than 7,000 registered voters in Olympia. So it's not just a small group. There's a large group of people who signed that. And we want to put that forward and, and see, yes, we know there will be a court challenge. And people who support initiative number one are going to be footing the bill for whatever challenge there is. We're going to keep it minimal to the city of Olympia. The city is already challenged and is on the other side of this issue, so, you know, it's going to be very difficult for them to try to or to support this, and we don't think they should. We think the supporters of initiative number one should be the ones who also work for its implementation and for its success. We asked to approve a measure that would impose a 1.5% tax on Olympia households with combined incomes over $200,000. Olympia Proposition 1, also known as Opportunity for Olympia, is an invitation to a long court case at the City of Olympia's expense, testing whether today's Supreme Court would find a personal income tax constitutional. It's being sold as a college scholarship fund for graduating seniors from the Olympia School District. <coughs> Olympia Proposition 1 must be stopped at the ballot box. And there are three reasons. Er, there are three reasons. First, it's not funded. If the initiative passes, the City of Olympia will be obligated to defend its legality in the courts, costing taxpayers thousands of dollars. But let's think about the costs a little bit longer. Let's think about our community. Let's think about Olympia. We have a city that has a huge heart and a city that has a very large social agenda. Our community is diverse and it's very caring. And the conversation about Olympia is changing, and it's changing to the positive. We need to take care of some of our neighbors who are suffering from mental illness, who are suffering from drug addiction, and we are dealing with parking issues. But we are revitalizing downtown. In excess of 80% of housing uh, downtown is subsidized, but we are now building market rate housing and we need a robust walking patrol. In short, we're taking our city back. But it takes money, and Proposition 1 would be a direct hit to those funds necessary to get our city back. Second, this initiative requires the city to create a tax collection bureaucracy. This would be funded by a very small percentage of any proceeds that are taken. And the, any shortage and this requirement would divert funds from necessary city services. In addition, the, the initiative includes no enforcement provisions. Believe it or not, the IRS will not share any tax information with the City of Olympia. So all taxpayers would dutifully and on the honor system give their tax information to the city to find out who would be responsible for paying these taxes. This will leave the city with the expectation to fund scholarships with no guarantee of funding from the tax. 
Third, it's not possible. There's specific state law that forbids cities from collecting income taxes. This law is RCW 36-65030 that unambiguously provides that a city, and I quote, shall not levy a tax on net income, end quote. Legislature would have to repeal this law for the initiative to work, even if today's Supreme Court overturned decisions about income taxes. And it should be known that graduated income taxes have twice been found by the Washington State Supreme Court to violate our state constitution. The city, the ballot measure was not the city's idea. The proposal was initiated by the Seattle-based Economic Opportunity Institute who decided to use Olympia to test the legality of a city-based income tax. 97% of the funding for the campaign to pass Proposition 1 has come from King County. Tax reform and funding for higher education are very important issues, and they should be addressed, but this is not the way to do it. The state legislature, not the city of Olympia, should solve these issues. This is illegal, it's expensive, and an impossible proposal that needs to be voted down. 